Many of you might have heard about this term Q10 value. But do you know the practical application behind it? This video will help you to understand Q10 concept in 5 minutes. So stay tuned and do subscribe to our channel Food Tech Insight. Let's begin with a theoretical aspect of Q10. So it is defined as the number of times a reaction rate changes with a 10 degree change in temperature. Now let's see practically. We know that swimming is a great workout. It involves muscle contraction for building endurance, muscle strength. Person can swim properly in a normal water, that is water when it is in ambient temperature. But it becomes difficult when it comes to cold water. We start to sink. Why is it so? It is because for every 10 degree drop in temperature, the rate of muscle contraction will reduce by 50%. Let be the initial rate be 1 and the final rate be half. So Q10 is equal to half divided by 1 that is 0.5. So let's see the numerical. Self life of a food stored at 30 degrees Celsius is 7 days. Assuming that Q10 value of deteriorative reaction occurring in the food is 1.8, Estimate the self life when it is stored at 10 degrees Celsius. So we know that the formula K2 by K1 that is rate of reaction is equal to Q10 T2 minus T1 divided by 10. And from the previous video of D value we know that K that is rate of reaction is inversely proportional to the thermal dead time and that is also pro inversely proportional to the time. So we can replace K2 and K1 with small t2 and small t1 is equal to Q10 t1 minus t2 by 10 so we will put the value t2 by 7 is equal to q10 then in the place of q10 we can put 1.8 and then we know the temperature initial 30 minus 10 divided by 10 so t2 is equal to 22.68 days so what we got from here that the self life of the food stored at 10 degrees celsius will be 22.68 days the next question is, it has been reported that the rate of an enzymatic reaction is increased by a factor of 3.2. If the reaction is carried out at 45 degrees Celsius instead of 37 degrees Celsius, calculate the energy of activation and the Q10 value. So here we have to find the energy of activation that is activation energy and Q10 value. And we have got here the rate of reaction that is 3.2 and the temperature. The T1 will be 37 degrees Celsius and the T2 is 45 degrees Celsius. So from Marinich equation, we know the relation between reaction rate constant and activation energy. So the formula will be ln K2 by K1 is equal to activation energy that is E. T2 minus T1 divided by gas constant that is R. T1 into T2. We have to take care here like the T that is temperature should be in Kelvin. So ln 3.2 is equal to E. 45 minus 37 divided by 8.314 into Kelvin 310 into 318. So the activation energy is calculated like 119150. Next we have to find out Q10 value. So I think Q10 is equal to E into 10 and divided by R T1 in bracket T1 plus 10. So we can put the value like uh, we know 10 into E we got 119150 divided by 8.314 into 310 into 318. So we will get the Q10 value 4.24. That's all for this video. We hope.